What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video and before this video starts I will kind of want to talk to you guys about something So I know my upload schedule is five videos every single week Even though I have only uploaded one video this week and that's because I've been really busy with luck like I've tweeted editing for bigger channels I've been shooting Instagram pictures that you guys will see in the upcoming weeks on my Instagram page My Instagram is at Alex Halvers Obviously make sure to go ahead and drop a follow right there starting next week we'll be back with five videos each week but it's just getting so and so busy i'm getting approached by so many companies and people that want to work with me if this is going to continue like that i literally have to hire someone to help me out with all the emails everything like that all around it so i can focus on creating videos but with that out of the way in this video i'm going to show you guys exactly how to create cinematic videos completely for free we're not going to talk about any paid plugins you don't have to spend a dollar so what we're gonna do first of all is drop a like down below subscribe if you're new and I would say let's get started obviously right after the intro Okay guys, so right now we're in Vegas Pro 16 as usual and I just picked a nice stock footage clip and what we're gonna do first of all is think what kind of things do we see when we hear cinematic? Is it gonna be for, for example like documentary style anything like that? So what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna apply some color correction and then we're gonna also apply some cinematic black bars I'm gonna show you guys how to apply them always what you have to do is go on your clip right click you want to hit properties and you want to check disable or resample that's always the case if you want to have smooth clips okay so moving on to the next thing is looking at our clip and see how it looks do we have a lot of blue in there that means that it's pretty cold do we have like a lot of warm colors such as red and orange we don't want to mess up the exposure so what we need to do is go to video effects what is optional is you can scroll down until you see the brightness and contrast which is right here and if we drag on the default one, we can just spice it up a little by adding a little bit more contrast because if we're going to over contrast it, it's going to look like that and it's not going to look natural. And if you're going to place color correction presets on top of this as well, it's going to it's not going to work. So what we're going to do is apply just a little bit more contrast to it. That's basically enough. So moving on to the next one is the color corrector tab. We don't basically want to pick any presets because we can just create our own. So we're going to drag on the default one onto our clip now we can decide like okay what do we want do we have a little bit more blue colors everything like that so if i you know drag this mark a little bit more to the blue side of things it's going to look very cold and everything but if we drag it to the, the you know to the red orange it's going to look pretty pretty warm and we also have the low ones we have the mid-tones right here and we can just adjust a few things and you can just do whatever you like, how you think your footage will look the best. That's pretty much what you need to do. I always like to add a little bit more blue to it and also for the midtones, a little bit red. So it's going to look very cinematic and not necessarily cold or warm or anything like that. Just make sure to just don't mess up the exposure uh, by just adding too much brightness or too much contrast. So if you're done making your preset, you can also just save this. So you can give this a name, for example, cinematic, and then you can just click on this diskette icon that will save it so you don't need to do everything all over again if you have a new clip right so now moving on to the next thing is the cinematic black bars now I want to mention that if you have a clip and if the cinematic black bars are going to actually crop out important things I wouldn't recommend doing it since you're going to crop out a little part of the video on the top and the bottom there are two, basically two ways to do this so if you hit the event pan crop and then you want to make sure that only the size about center is selected so we're gonna just hit that we're gonna uncheck Check the lock aspect ratio and then we're gonna just drag these guys to the top that's basically what we're gonna do but if you look at it it's going to basically you know shrink the footage and it's not gonna look natural right click hit restore and then you want to go to Google and then you want to type in cinematic black bars so we're gonna go to images 
And right here we have a lot of examples and you just want to click on this one. But you want to make sure that you will have a picture with like this checkerboard inside of it because you know that's going to be transparent. So what we want to do is just right click on the image. You want to hit save image or save as. So then if we drag on the bars that we just downloaded, obviously you can just resize them or make them smaller or anything like that. But this is basically how you spice up the clip and how you make cinematic videos. And you can obviously apply this on multiple things. You don't have to necessarily do this for example on vlog footage because it's not going to look that natural but if you have for example a vlog and you're filming yourself and then you have some cinematic shots afterwards of your town anything like that you can just add some music add these filters add these black bars so that's how simple it is guys and that's all i have for you guys today i'll catch you guys on monday with brand new videos let me know in the comments what you want to see on topics on vegas pro 16 and i'll look into that so guys thank you so much for the continued support thanks for sticking around in this really you know busy period just don't forget that i always stay on the grind no matter what we're going to continue next week with vegas tutorials how to's how to get more subscribers how to grow on youtube in 2019 everything like that so guys i'm super excited for next week i'll see you guys on monday have a great weekend and i'll catch you guys obviously next week you, 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 you,